Hey guys, we are going to multiply some decimals by some whole numbers. When we multiply these, guess what? You do not have to line up the decimals. If we were adding or subtracting these, you would need to line up the decimals like that, right? But when we multiply them, you don't have to worry about that. If you wanna see why, I'll link a video for them in the corner. But let's go ahead and see what this does. So for a second, I'm still gonna write the decimal, but I can kind of pretend like it's not there for a minute. So I'm gonna have 3.53 times four, okay? It's just gonna look like that. My decimals do not have to be lined up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and multiply. Four times three gives me 12. Four times five gives me 20 plus one gives me 21. Four times three gives me 12 plus two gives me 14. So I've basically ignored the decimal point up until now and now is when I need to pay attention to it again. So how do I figure out where it goes on here? Well, you find your decimal on top and count how many numbers are behind it. So here I have one, two numbers behind it. So I keep this down here with two numbers behind it just like that. Okay, now if you want to see how to multiply a decimal by a decimal, I'll link a video to that in the corner. Was that correct English? I don't know. But there's that answer. Let's go ahead and do one more example over here. We've got 29.418 times 8. Again, for a second, I'm still going to write the decimal, but I don't have to worry about it really until the end. Okay, so when I multiply these, I have 8 times 8, which gives me 64. 8 times 1, which is 8, plus 6, which gives me 14. 8 times 4, which is 32, plus 1 gives me 33. 8 times 9, which is 72, plus 3 gives me 75. And 8 times 2, which is 16, plus 7, which gives me... 23. Okay, now is when I need to pay attention to the decimals again. So I look at my decimal up here. I count there's one, two, three numbers behind it. So I go one, two, three. All right, there we go. Make sure when you are counting these, you start on the right and go over that way. Okay, all right. I hope this made sense. I will link a whole decimal playlist for you if you need it. Thanks.